Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. This is Cabrillo Symphonic Chorus, and I'm Cheryl Anderson, Director of Choral and Vocal Studies at Cabrillo College. We're in the marvelous Horticulture Department. We searched all over campus to try and find the most beautiful place to put this great music that we've had the opportunity to sing in the parking garage on campus or on Zoom this entire semester. And we found this to be the most inspirational. Behind me is the Pacific Ocean, and of course that's behind the singers. But we've enjoyed the hawks that fly around, the hummingbirds and butterflies, and the, the sounds of the birds as we've been singing and enjoying this day. Um, it's a little windy up here, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to thank you for being here and for your constant support and involvement in Cabrillo College and in our program especially. Your support means so much to us and we're going to look forward to being back with you hopefully in the fall. Now of course you know about Cabrillo Stage doing five programs this summer. The final one of which is the Gilbert and Sullivan Pirates of Penzance. So go online and get your tickets today for that. In the choice of literature, we chose to open with Blow Ye the Trumpet, which is from the opera, the story of, um, I just lost it. John Brown, thank you so much, uh, by Kirk Meacham. We sang it with the symphony a number of years ago. I heard from Kirk earlier this year, and he wrote an opera called Bafana, A Christmas Fable. It's an Italian legend that he's been inspired by his entire life, and so we are going to premiere that opera next fall, and in January it was written about uh, the time of Epiphany. You'll hear more about that. So we decided to open this program with Blow You the Trumpet by Kirk Meacham.
Kirk is one of our favorite composers, and he lives in San Francisco. He'll turn 97 this year. The next piece we'll do is uh, a piece that one of our members, Nancy Miller, brought to us. She heard it and fell in love with it, said that it reminded her of this choir. It's called Flight Song, and the flight is about song itself and how it inspires us and changes us and allows us to relate to other parts of our life. It's by a composer named Kim Aronson. And as in the first piece, it's accompanied by piano and our fabulous pianist is Daniel Goldsmith. Oh, cool. 
The third piece we'd like to do for you is called Stand Up. It's from Harriet, the movie about Harriet Tubman. And we'd like to offer it because we felt that as artists do, we'd like to make a statement against any marginalization of any part of the human condition. And so our soloist is Jasmine Montgomery Miranda. <clears throat> my people while the clouds roll back and the stars fill the night that's when I'm gonna stand up take my people with me together we are going to a brand new home far across the river can you hear freedom calling calling are gonna keep on keeping on I could feel it in my bones Early in the morning Before the sun begins to shine What the separating line I'm waiting for the muddy waters You know I got a made of mind And I don't mind if I lose any blood on the way to salvation Till I die So I'm gonna stand up Take my people with me Together we are going To a brand new home Far across the river Can you hear freedom calling Calling me to answer Gonna keep on keeping
because we were able to use the parking garage to practice this semester. We froze, no, <laughs> we did. Uh, but we were able to do an entire masterwork and Handel has written so many beautiful oratorios and this piece that we're doing is called the Te Deum, the Dedingen Te Deum, dedicated to the battle at Dedingen, actually the victory there. The Te Deum was a trope that existed thousands of years ago. It was written actually as a Gregorian chant, and the text has come down through ages and been used sometimes um, at Thanksgiving time, sometimes All Souls, or in general celebration. We have a number of soloists, and I'll ask them when the piece is finished to step forward and introduce them to you. This is the Deading and Tadeum of Handel. Thank 
of glory, O Christ. Thou art the King of glory. Thou art the King of glory. No! 
at the right hand of God. In the No.
So I hope that's the case after this year and two months of um, dealing with a pandemic and all of that mean, what all of that means, people lost, um, jobs lost, money lost, that we will uh, arise triumphantly after this amazing time and learn something about how to cherish one another better and spend our time giving thanks for one another. So um, I'd like the soloist to come behind me so I can introduce you, if you will, please. And while they're coming down, I want to say a huge thank you to Cabrillo College for really going to the wall to make this music program happen. We were supported every step of the way. And I want to start with my dean, Dr. John Gralty, our president, Dr. Matt Wettstein. And I want to also thank this tremendous crew who has made this day possible from uh, the audio portion and the visual portion. I want to start with Poco Marshall, our theater manager, Elk Latham, the associate theater manager, uh, Morgan, who's our videographer, and uh, also, Barry is back there uh, as one of our technical supports. So our deepest appreciation to you. You've been great to work with and you've made all this happen. And uh, now I'll introduce to you the soloists from left to right. We have Jeanette Moretti and Diane Circle. Behind her is Sandy uh, Schuler. Beside her is Jasmine M Montgomery Miranda, Liz Francesco. Uh, Giovanni Montgomery Miranda, <laughs> get all those names out, uh, Christian Rincon, Ulysses Patino, Art Schuler, and David Graham. Thank you all so much for this. I appreciate it. So uh, we will look forward to seeing you in person in the fall and in the summer. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting us. Have a great rest of your summer. Thank you.